What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are on Windows 11. I'm being serious. We are on Windows actual freaking 11. I just did a live stream to a few hundred people, about four to 500 people, and a lot of questions were asked and I wanna go over most of it with you. Yes, your Windows 32 apps will run, so you don't have to worry about Discord, Steam, your games will run, everything else will run. There is a whole new look, you can clearly tell. And it's actually very curved, very minimalistic. It looks great. There is currently a glitch with transparency. It doesn't work. Uh, there's no blur behind it. It makes it look kind of bad. But in a nutshell, I mean, most things work the way that they should. As you can clearly see, we can pin and unpin apps. Uh, there are widgets now. This is actually pretty cool. No one cares about Jake Paul. He's a fake. And all of this is honestly really nice looking like this is alt tab and as you can see it just spreads everything out perfectly now most people notice that this looks like pop os is cosmic well to be honest pop os is cosmic looks like this and i believe it does it for a reason uh because they liked this look so much that they just wanted to go with it and i understand why now i'm not sure if live tiles are a thing and if they are well, that's pretty cool, but this is now where you pin your stuff. So you can unpin from start, you can pin. It's all pretty cool. Uh, there are new wallpapers, which I do really like. As you can see, the new wallpapers look pretty fancy. Uh, you can change them. They look nice. This is fully activated. I am on official hardware. As you can see, this is NVIDIA control panel. So we are using my 1070. My specs are in the description below, uh, as well as a download link to this ISO. So if we open Windows Terminal, you can see it's just basically Windows PowerShell, but it is Windows Terminal. And I like that it's there now because I actually like using Windows Terminal over anything else. It's, it looks great. So that's pretty cool. And people wanted to see this. This is my notification center. It's a lot more rounded, a lot more cleaned up. Everything looks a lot better. Uh, what else do people want? Right, they want to know can you do this? The answer is yes. They are kind of angry that you can no longer right click and get any extra settings. Most of that's been integrated into the start button. So you see task manager, settings, files, explorer, search, run, things like that are all right here. Uh, the WDDM version, so the Windows display driver manager, whatever is 2.7 still. And Honestly, besides that, I don't really see very many changes, but I like what I see so far. Uh, you can see everything is pretty much integrated. It looks good. Networking is pretty much good. I figured out why my networking was slow, and it's the SSD I'm using. It's not very good. Uh, Windows Update does have some Windows updates I am going to install in a couple of minutes. Now, if you are on AMD, you need to go into your BIOS. You need to go into Security and you need to enable FTPM. FTPM. Without it, you will not be able to install Windows 11, so this is very important, okay? I'm, in my fullest opinion of the way that this looks, I love it, I really do, and I get why people hate it a lot. It's a big change. Uh, people are saying it looks like Mac OS, most people don't have seen Mac OS clearly because it's a dock down bottom, a panel up top, and really, I can't go to another window and pull up another dock. It doesn't work like that. So this is not looking like Windows or Mac OS at all. Uh, the icons, they don't like them. They think they look bad. To me, they just look like uh, an old KDE-themed icon set, and I like them. They give Windows a fresh new look. And most people are probably noticing that this is really snappy and this really is nice and clean. I mean, look at that. It's just so smooth. And if you right click here, you can actually stack your windows or tile them, I guess, and just do whatever you need to do. And honestly, I like that too, because that's really nice. That gives it another, I don't know, farther feature rich environment. I mean, if Microsoft really wants to push Windows 11, they're going to have to listen to the people. And I don't know. They're not really good at listening to the people, unfortunately. 
but maybe this time it will be different. Windows Store is right here, as you can see that. Games do run. When I did run Resident Evil 8 Village, and it ran very well. It was very smooth. Uh, there's not much else I can really show you. I mean, this is it. This is Windows 11 in a nutshell currently at the time. But we have an entire Windows Insider cycle to go through. So they can add feature after feature after feature. They can listen to users that they want. They can really push it forward. And I hope they do. I hope that Microsoft ends up winning back the people because they're trying something new. And every time that they do that, they end up getting yelled at, screamed at, hated at, whatever. And it takes people a long time to adapt because people are really slow at adapting to new things. But they're doing what no other operating system does. They're actually innovating. They're taking risks. They're changing. And it's amazing to see that because... I love the fact that they like to change so much. It gives me things to explore. It gives me things to learn, uh, things to deal with. And I'm a fan of that. I am actually an honest-to-God fan of that. And I know most people probably won't be, but I adapt very quickly to new situations. It's, it's what I do. Uh, I want to go grab Lively Wallpaper. It's something I've been experimenting with for a while. Uh, if you haven't used it, I do suggest installing it. I'm going to try to get the Fluent uh, Blur, which seems to be static now for some reason. I don't know if they went and broke Blur or the Fluent Design in this Windows 11, but I want to see if maybe this can fix my problem that I have with it. And we have a, a app that needs updating. Or do we? I don't know. I'll wait till this is done. So we have new sounds, and I'm going to play them one by one for you right now. Okay, so just let me set this up. Start with Windows. Yes, I agree. Okay, and there we go. So let's do this. We're going to go to sounds, if it will let me get to sounds, right there. And I'm going to play each one for you, okay? That was cool. So there you have it. That is the new sounds. I mean... I'm impressed. They actually sound nice and clean and they work very well. Uh, we were, I wanted to go to settings here and I want it to go to, um, where is it? Does it not let me change it? There was something here that let me change the status bar here to wallpaper interaction type thing. Hmm. But it looks like it's not there no more. System integration. Here we go. Right here. Watch this. Fluent. Didn't do anything. Blur. No. Wait. We got blur. Okay. So it is blurred. Uh, wallpaper fluent? Personalized. Let's change this to this one. Yeah, look at that. We got Blur working with this application. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, it doesn't want to change now. Now that it's working, it doesn't want to change. Clear, Blur, Fluent, and Wallpaper Fluent. So I'm going to leave this like this. I like this a lot better. And uh, honestly, with that, I think we're done with this video. Um, I just wanted to go over some of the changes. And I have, and I'm honestly overall enjoying this new look. 
I hope you guys are too. If you want to give it a chance, pop it in a VM and install it. Uh, check out all of its cool changes. Decide what you like, what you don't. And when the Insider goes live for testing Windows 11, do me a favor. Don't sit idly by and say, I hate this, I hate that, I hate this, and never actually go into the Insider forums and speak about what you like and what you don't like. Let's make a change in Windows for once. Let's tell Microsoft what you want, and all of you can go through and thumbs it up and agree with it and get it pushed into Windows. Who knows? They might listen. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. For further updates on Windows 11 as they come, I plan on doing a video as much as I can about new changes. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button on this video. I would very much appreciate it. And leave comments below. Tell me what you think. You're going to find the download for Windows 11 in the description. Remember, if it's not 4.54 gigs, it's not real. Bye, everybody.